Coming up, we'll be talking about the new model for the Star Wars land that was revealed during the D23 Expo. Max Pass coming to Disneyland, Cars Free, and also Pirates of the Caribbean on home video. What's up everyone, Roger here from the Disney Kingdom Daily Show. So I'm gonna kick off with some D23 stuff since they kind of got a great new reveal of this model for Star Wars and it's gonna be coming to um, Disney's Hollywood Studios over in Walt Disney World and also Disneyland set to open in 2019. I'm expecting us to learn a lot more about that later today. And because of that, I am gonna be doing some of the daily shows over the weekend, this week and next week, because of the D23 Expo and also because of the San Diego Comic-Con. So let's jump into having a look here at some of the details. So first off, we had some new images shown off of um, things on display. So we got here like a uniform, whether or not that's what they're gonna be wearing at the event. We've got to see a little bit of concept art and some of the items running around here, which look pretty cool. We've got um, a model here of the uh, the Millennium Falcon, and it's kind of all on lovely display. So people are going to be walking around. So expect to see a lot of images of this over on social media. So here's a look here at the model, as you can see here. Um, really kind of detailed in terms of how it looks. Definitely lo looks like a planet. Very kind of sort of Tatooine, Mos Eisley kind of area. So here we're going to be able to see what it's going to look like. So we're going to have a big ship here, and then we're going to have the big full-size Millennium Falcon and you can see here you'll have all the people walking around here all built into like a cliff so it feels very immersive so you can see here the full size of this model um, taking up the area okay and there we have a little bit more of the inside so you can see here some props and stuff that they're using you're gonna have a big TIE fighter kind of reminds me of what I've seen at um, Star Wars Celebration where we had this massive great big TIE fighter and you can see here people wandering around etc um, again, different as you're coming into it here, you've got an eighth a starfighter, and you've also got an X-wing there, full-size replicas and stuff. So that looks pretty cool. And again, here we can see a little bit more of of the whole area of just how it's going to look. Obviously, from a model, it's kind of definitely gives us an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, but yeah, it does look rather epic, and I can't wait to see what they do with this. I mean, I think it's just going to be um, really cool, and I'm interested to see what information gets revealed later in the um, the event. So now let's just have a look here again at some of the information that came out of of the event, and it's just it just looks like it's going to be really really cool. Um, but it's, it's a cool thing of just being at, at D23. It will be great. Of course, not all of us are at the event, so therefore, for those of us at home, it's going to be a pain. I do know there's a few people out there. Travis from the site is out there, so I know he was enjoying being at Disney Disneyland and California Adventure yesterday. He's put up loads of pictures and stuff, so that looks pretty cool. Um, Abe as well, he's been out there. And um, James from the Infinity and Beyond podcast, he's out there. There's loads and loads of people out there for the event. So loads and loads of information coming through. So now let's jump onto some of the other stories. And this one was an interesting one that came in. I um, didn't even go. Um, apparently, um, Zandaya, or I don't know how you pronounce that, so I do apologise because I probably have butchered it. And Tom Holland are apparently dating in real life. Um, I saw this right across Twitter. Um, apparently, they ha they have been dating. It's been going on for a while, and they did get like super close during the movie filming, which doesn't surprise me. Seems to happen quite a lot with. Um, sort of celebrities and stuff doing it and also they're filming some other movies and stuff so they'll be together quite a bit I suspect it just seems quite funny of how this worked apparently also um, Andrew Garfield and also um, Emma Stone got together when they were filming Spider-Man movies so yeah looks pretty good um, so yeah hope that, that that works out for them so I'm going to jump over now to Cars and Cars 3 is out in the UK in cinemas from today. Also today sees the release of Cars 3 Driven to Win in the UK on console. So you can only get the physical versions at Argos. Um, you can get it on Xbox uh, One, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch at Argos. Um, it is available on Wii U, PS3 and also Xbox 360. But they are digital only. Very, very um, odd that how it's been working out over here. I'll be honest, I have been playing um, the Xbox One version for a couple of hours this morning. Lots of fun. We've been putting up a review, a sort of a review in progress first off on um, thisgaming.com because I'm going to give this one a little bit of time to keep here. It feels really bad because it came out a month ago, so it's, it kind of feels like old news and not people. But obviously for today, it's brand new for us today, so I was enjoying it. Definitely feels very Disney Infinity-ish. So let's jump now over to some other stories. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, this one just got um, announced overnight as well. Coming to home cinema or home video um, September the 19th on digital and then it's coming out on October 3rd on Ultra HD and Blu-ray. Um, so it's going to be, as I said, the fifth in thing and you can see the lovely looking case. So you can definitely go down this 4K Ultra HD uh, with digital etc. 
And so it comes with the making of the of the movies, comes with a number of different bonus features as well, bloopers, deleted scenes. Interesting to see what they're doing with this kind of the 4K. They just recently announced last week that the Guardians of the Galaxy is coming to 4K disc. Now, unfortunately, you will need a new player to play 4K um, content. Now, the Xbox One X, which is coming out in November, will have the functionality to play those discs, whereas the PlayStation Pro can't do that. You can get a separate device. Have got a 4K TV, obviously does make it look rather nice. I did pick one up a couple of months ago when my television broke, and 4K does look very good, but trying to get hold of that content obviously does mean it's going to push it up. So it really depends on what level you want on most of the 4K content. That does seem to be coming digitally through like Netflix and Amazon, etc. But great to know that option is there if you are fully into having the best experience if you can. And to be honest, I thought Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men, Tale No Tales, was a really fun little movie. So I'm going to be picking that one up on Blu-ray when that one gets released as well. And finally, I'm going to jump now over on to... Um, Max Pass. So this has been announced for Disneyland. It's going to be coming on July the 19th. It was previously announced earlier this year. Um, basically, this is uh, within your app. You will be able to book in Fast Passes. Um, but it's going to cost an introductory price of $10 a day. And that's obviously going to be per person. Um, annual Pass holders will be able to add it on to their entire platform for $75. Um, uh, however, the Signature Plus um, pass holders will get at no additional cost as part of the benefit. They've been adding in different Fast Pass options as well over the year. So there's now about um, quite a few different places. I think there's about 16 places now that you can use it at Disneyland and California Adventure. Now, this obviously is paying, so you're going to have to pay to get onto those rides a bit. So it really depends on how much you're willing to queue, how much your time is worth, or whether or not you feel this is worth it. Also depends maybe on the size of your party going. If there's one or two of you, it might not be so bad. If you've got a party of six or ten of you, it might not be quite so good to pay that money. However, again, time is money. I know if I only had a day or two in Disneyland, I would probably use this to upgrade in order to get through those rides and see more attractions earlier. Kind of falls into what Universal have done over in there, the Express Pass. But at the same time, having had the free use of it at Walt Disney World or where you get certain ones, you will still be able to get your paper passes. They're still going to be working the same way they have done. This is just an extra option to kind of get people through the rides and also brings in extra revenue as well. Personally, I do feel it probably would be better to be um, included in your park pass and then let everyone have access to it like they do over in Walt Disney World. But I'm sure this is going to be a bit of a demo to see how it works. And if this works, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if they brought this to Walt Disney World as well. Though I'll be honest, I probably would do it because you're spending that much money to go there, you might as well do it. But if you maybe um, on a budget, it's, it's another little thing of Disney just pushing up the experience factor. Well, there we go, guys. That's today's news. I'll be back tomorrow with another update with whatever happens from the D23. I'm expecting a big um, conference uh, tonight, later on. It's about um, 3 p.m. in the U.S. on, on the Los Angeles time zone. It works about 11 o'clock at tonight, so it might be a little bit of a late night for me tonight. And obviously, then on Saturday, we've got the game. There's loads and loads of panels. Definitely worth um, keeping up with it. Look, Disney are going to be live blogging from the event. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of live streaming stuff going and pictures and stuff. So whether or not they, how much we get to see, who knows? They do seem to be clamping down. There are some live streams, as I said, but not all, everything is being able to be spread out there. So let's see what's going on with that on there. Also, just to say the, the Dis Kingdom Daily Show is now available on iTunes and an audio platform. That I got confirmation this morning that that's all gone for okay. So you'll be able to listen to this on a daily message on there as well. So you want to subscribe there or you can subscribe on our YouTube channel. On that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think or on Twitter, etc. Um, plan is to go through your comments each day. Fortunately, yesterday was the first one. Didn't get any comments. It wasn't a surprise. I'm, I'm expecting this for a while. But yeah, I would love to know your comments because I'm going to be like reading through, through them at the end of each episode after we've gone through the news and stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're at the D23 Expo, very, very jealous. For those of us that aren't, I'm sure we're all going to be looking on just in envy of what's being announced. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters.